In this video I will show you how to program your own chatbot in Python using a local large language model. To do this we use an open source language model such as Llama2 from Meta which we download and start with the program LM Studio. I have linked my video on LM Studio in the video description down below. The highlight of our program is that we use the Python library OpenAI. But wait, we want to run the whole thing locally and without using an API. So why do we use the Python module OpenAI? That's true, but what if we want to use a representative of the GPT family from OpenAI instead of the Llama language model later on? And that is precisely why we are building the program in such a way that you can switch to a local model by adding just a single line of code. First of all, we install the Python module OpenAI with the command pip install OpenAI and import it into our program. Don't worry, we will not use OpenAI's API, but only build the construct in which you can then easily switch between the different language models. We now define a string variable in which we store the API key. As I said, you can also simply enter API underscore key here. We don't actually need it and it only serves to prepare the program for the possible use of the OpenAI API. Now we define a list called talk in which we store the chat history. We use urchatgpt as the system instruction. That means we trick our chatbot into thinking it is chatgpt. However, you can also use any other system instruction there. In the main program, we request a prompt from the user and store it in a variable called prompt. We use the virus operator to check the input directly against a specific value, namely x. That means if the user enters an x, the program is terminated. It is achieved by a while loop. We then add the prompt to the chat history with the role user. We then call the create function on openai.chatcompletion. We pass gpt-3.5 dash turbo as the language model. Don't worry, it could also be something like sorted online. It doesn't matter what it says because we are not using the OpenAI API. However, it is important that you assign the list with the chat history to the messages parameter. The result is saved in a variable with the name response. Afterwards, we read the response as text from the response variable and also add it to the chat history so that the context of the conversation is preserved. Currently the program would not work because it is still trying to communicate with the OpenAI API. Let's change that now. Start the program LM Studio, and click on this arrow symbol here. Select one of the language models that you have previously downloaded from the dropdown above. Then click the green button Start Server. The language model is now running on your local host on port 1234. That means locally on your computer or in your network. You could also adjust the port if necessary. For our Python program, we need this path here, which you copy to the clipboard. Now switch back to the Python program and add this instruction you previously copied directly after the start of the main program. Important. This line must be written before the API is called for the first time. And it is precisely this line of code that you use to address the local large language model. Otherwise you will communicate with the OpenAI API. So simply add this line, start the language model via LM Studio beforehand, of course, and you are ready to go. Excellent. Then let's just test our program. Make sure that your local large language model is running in the background. I start the Python program with our AI chatbot, which I have appropriately named chatbot.py with the command python chatbot.py. I am now prompted to enter a message. Well, I decide to simply say hello. After a short wait, ChatGPT, uh, I'm sorry, I mean our local large language model Llama2, answers and pretends to be ChatGPT. Feel free to chat with the chatbot and post your funniest chat histories in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.